Hello everyone, this is Curtis with Weed Whack a Lung Cure. How is everybody out there doing? I hope y'all are doing great and having a good um, April month here. Uh, it's been a lot of, uh, what can I say? It's been raining, uh, raining a lot. It's been cold, then it's been hot, then it's cool again. Uh, it's just, uh, just that time of year for those type of events to happen. I know y'all see... Uh, I know you see the uh, the background here, where the lawn back here. Uh, don't give up on it. The customer didn't give up on it. <laughs> what they, I mean, it was just that time of year. And what happened was that uh, they uh, told me that they were looking for me. You know, I had retired and I wasn't really doing anything, and I basically had shut a lot of my contacts down. But for some reason, the customer did not give up. They were determined to get in contact with me to come back and uh, take care of their lawn again for them. So you see the condition that their lawn is in, but they didn't give up now. We, they didn't give up. So what I'm going to do is I'm here and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it back in shape for them. I'm going to get it all cleaned up and everything and get it back looking good for them. So that's going to be my major task today is getting that line in shape. But I also want to leave a message with a lot of y'all. I know a lot of you have uh, checked out a lot of my videos over the years and all. And uh, I know from time to time I'll get some uh, comments where someone says, I thought you had retired. <laughs> I thought I had retired too, guys. But it's still something in me to help somebody you know i i uh didn't give up on helping someone when they need it and uh, as i always say if someone needs some help and i'm available to uh go out and help them i will i will do that you know i will do that i'm not one of those guys that's just oh well i'm retired i ain't gonna do nothing today i ain't gonna go no man uh-uh no guys I don't mind helping anyone. I don't, but the thing is, I don't have a schedule. It's nothing where that I have to attend to. You know how it is when you have a schedule and you have X amount of customers. They're demanding. They want you there every week or every other week, and I don't have to do that. If I don't want to do nothing, I don't do nothing. And so that's kind of why I am now. I may get a little bored sitting around doing nothing. So I said, well, hey, I still have my equipment, so. If I desire to go out and do something, that's what I do. I'll go out and help someone, you know, but I'm not, I'm not taking on any new, what can we say, new customers and all. No, I don't do that because I don't want no one looking for me to show up every week uh, to tend to their lawn. It's like, I may decide that uh, I want to go somewhere. I want to go on a cruise. I want to. I want to be gone a whole month and I can do it. You know, forget it. I'll say, hey, I was doing this while I was in town, but uh, you're going to have to find someone else for the time being. So there's a lot of opportunities out there, guys. And I still get it. I, I mean, every day my phone is still ringing. I'm still getting texts for uh, new customers and all, but I'm not taking them on because that's not what I want to do. I've uh, spent my time out there um, doing a lot of lawn care jobs, running here, running there, and I don't feel like doing that anymore, running here, running there. Like I say, on occasion, I'll go out and I'll do something to help someone, but not a lot of that. You know, I, I've, I've enjoyed it. You know, when I was doing it, I was enjoying it. And it was uh, a lot of fun, but it was a lot of stuff that starts to get old. <laughs> I mean, really gets old to for me. It started getting old to me. Uh, you know, when someone calls you and asks you to come and take care of the lawn for you, and you show up and it's already taken care of, that you know that started getting to me. I was like, man, they could have just called me and told me that they couldn't wait. But they let me drive over here and burn my gas and the lawn has already been attended to. So, you know, now I'm like, man, please, 
No, you go find someone else. Waste someone else's time. You know, that's just the way I feel about it. Because I'm like, if somebody tell you, it says, hey, I want to get lawn service. And you say, okay, I'll put you on the schedule. Okay, I'm booked for today. And I'll put you on the schedule for in the morning. And I'll come over in the morning. And you get over there in the morning. And uh, it's already taken care of. Now, I, I, I remember I was out doing some lawn. And I get a call. And I'm on the phone with a person. And uh, I said, well, okay. I'm uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way over there. I'm talking to them literally on the phone. That I'm on my way over to do their lawn. And when I get there, they got someone else in the lawn taking care of. I'm like, what is this? What kind of stuff is this? Why would you have me talking to me on the phone? And now you have someone out in your lawn mowing it. What is this? I'm like, it, I, I, I was just baffled with that. But, you know, you, you live and you learn. And you get... I don't know. I don't know what can I say. But it was very disturbing to me. And I was like, no. You know, I, I got to the point. I'm like, do you want your lawn cut? I'm like, listen. If you want it cut, then here's what's going to happen. I need to get paid up front. You're going to prepay me. I want to know for sure. This is the price. Now, if I get there and it's something totally different, then it's going to be another charge and sometimes I would show up to a line and it was something totally different they ask you for a price and you give them your price and you show up and the line is just overgrown I'm like no this is not no $40 yard cut this is a $150 to $200 cut because this is way overgrown I'm going to burn up more gas and I'm, I'm leaving. Just forget it. Just forget it. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> and then sometimes you have to do that when you run into overgrown yards. And people, I know, they're looking to get something cut. And they don't call a number of people. And so they're asking for a price. And if you don't look at that line before getting into it before you get there and looking into it. when you get there you see something totally different then the best thing to do is drive off and say no i can't do that for that price i quoted those are my prices for a lawn that is already in a um, working status that has been being cut every week or every other week those are for lawns that are manageable lawns but it hasn't been managed where you have taken care of it on a regular basis. It's overgrown and nah, you don't need that. But not to give up, as you can see, the line behind me, it needs some work. And it's not too bad. You know, it's not really overgrown, but it just needs to be, you know, well, grass is growing and over the sidewalk, driveway and all of that. But, we, but it's no problem. We'll get that all taken care of. But I have went to some places and you would get there and it was something totally, totally different. Very upsetting. And they were like, oh, well, I don't have much money for that. Can't you do it for this? No, I can't. I'm walking. And I would leave, really just literally just get in my truck and leave and just say, forget it. I'm already at a loss. I mean, what am I gaining? I'm going to burn up more. I'm going to burn up more in fuel. With the blades and the more out to make nothing. It's best to just leave. You already at a loss because you why lose more? Because you're not making, you're not really replacing your time and your gas because you no. Nah. It's best to leave and then get another good paying customer that's gonna pay you for your time. Because you're gonna waste time over there. That's time that you could be resting yourself up versus working yourself for nothing. When you can rest yourself up for a good customer that's going to be paying you some good money to come and take care of their lawn. So why waste time in an overgrown jungle? Then that's going to pay you very minimally and you're going to be at a loss. So it's best to leave that 
And that's what I would do, leave that alone and move on. But over the years, I learned that, uh uh, that's no money in this one. You know, it's no money in there. And when it's no money in it, you leave. Don't just take on loans to be taking on loans. And that's what happens a lot of times. People take on loans and say, oh, well, I got all of these loans. And I'm like, how much is it going to cost you to take care of that loan? It can cost you X amount of dollars when you add it up. How much fuel, how much time did you waste over there? You know, I mean, you can waste a lot of time where that time that you wasted over there, you could have been resting up for a good loan. And you're going to be way ahead of the game because you don't waste a lot of time, you know, trying to uh, work in the loan. Uh, and you would get get a lot of that. And that's the thing that you have to be very careful on. I mean, you have to stand on your prices and what you can uh, take care of loan for. But anyway, guys, I was just sharing some information with y'all. And I know a lot of you are that do line care. And those are things that you want to be cautious about wasting your time in a nonprofit uh, line. I mean, you want to work in a loan where you're going to make some profit, you know, to uh, carry on because you have to factor in all your days uh, where you, what I'm saying for working days. I mean, so many days where the weather is good and then you got so many days where it's raining and then you got to factor in the fact that this is a seasonal based business and you're going to have to uh, save very hard so that you can uh, get through to the next lawn care season, which will be going into the, the next year. Those are things that you have to prepare yourself for because hopefully you'll have a good season, but you never know. You never know how the weather's gonna behave, you know, how much rain is we're gonna have, how much heat we're gonna have, where it's having a drought, no grass to mow, you got to be factoring all those things in because, I mean, you may have a good week, may have a good month, and then the next month, <laughs> it could be a drought or it could be just raining a whole month. You don't, oh man, you got to factor all those things in because those are things that I have to, I had to factor in. How am I going to uh, survive and make it to the next year? And the way I did it was I, when I had some good times, I took those good times as bad times. Good, what I mean is I had to save hard, save hard, and save hard so that that would get me through over to the next year. And that's what I did. So I, I just sharing a little bit more information with you guys so that if you're doing this, remember, you got to save to survive over to the next year. And it's hard work. It's hard work. And so you have to Make sure that you use your time wisely to uh, survive. And that's what I had to do. To, it's called survival mode and survive and lawn care. So it will carry you over to the next year. Because, I mean, it, this is short. I mean, you, you're you working, basically, you're going to get six months. And six months, you got to work very hard for those six months. And you can take it easy when October gets there. I mean, you you don't have to work as hard. If if you get a little bit here and there, that's fine. Or you can just say, well, no, I'm not going to do anything until it picks back up in the next year. And you can take those months off and uh, do some things that you'd like to do. You know, but you got to work at it. You got to have a strategy. So I'm just sharing some more of my information with y'all and hope you've enjoyed it. But now let's get into the line that we're here for where the customer did not give up. They contacted me to come over and see uh, about getting their lawn all taken care of. So let's uh, let's get into this. Let me go ahead and uh, share that with you and we'll see the, uh, the overall view of the lawn and we'll also see the uh, after results of what I was able to do for the customer for is getting their lawn all cleaned up and all. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, bye for now. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to give y'all uh, a view of this here lawn. We're just going to walk along here and take a look at it. The condition that this lawn is in, as you can see, the sidewalk, the driveway, and you can see the foundation. You see all of this grass that is uh, just overgrowing on the sidewalk and driveway area there so we, we were walking over it so i just i want to give you all a view of the way everything is actually looking here on this here lawn so now you know we're gonna walk along and you see everything that we're gonna have to attend to to uh get it all in shape here so now we're entering the back of it we're gonna take a look at the back and see how the back is looking here uh let me um get this gate open here so that uh we can enter the back and you can see the way the back is looking right here okay look at that look at that okay so we see what we need to do back here we got some work back here to do we're gonna get this back all clean up and all just gonna take a few minutes so i don't know what that is growing there but we're gonna head back here towards the front and see if we can get working here on getting this here all cleaned up. I got my Ryobi trimmer with me, my battery one, so we're gonna use that to uh, start out trimming with and all. So uh, here we go. Check it out now. Look at here. This is the way the back looks after I took and trimmed everything up and mowed everything with my mower and all. Now we hit it back towards the front. I'm just shutting the gate right now. So we're gonna uh, head towards the front here and look at the side. You see, I got the side all trimmed up with the trimmer, and I got the driveway, sidewalk, all that area all cleaned up and everything. So we are walking on the other side over here, and you can see the way everything is looking right now. We're gonna walk back over here on the side. And I have a handheld blower with me, so I'm going to blow this little debris off right there and just double check my work again. Make sure that I got everything and looks like I have everything all taken care of. So we just get an overall view of the way the lawn is looking now. And you see, okay, we didn't give up. So got it all taken care of and looking good for the customer all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned